Hey YouTube, Safety here. I just wanted to show you my grow lights that I haven't set up in my window here. I say lights because I've extended it from one to three. They're all set up on a timer that tells them to turn off a few hours after sundown. So it extends the amount of light they get. I run these for about 90% of the um, sunlight hours that are up right now. You can see I've got some hot plants started here. These are cuts that I just got on Easter. So a few days ago. These are my strawberry plants that I started from seed. The ones on the end have been given grow lights directly. The two in the center have not. I've got a tomato plant here that's never really been directly under a grow light. And it's been here since, you can see here, the 24th. It's almost a month old. And if you go all the way over here to this tomato plant, it's been under the grow lights for about a week. And it sprouted about two and a half weeks ago. But uh, it didn't get the grow lights right away. It took a while. So you can see the difference. I had an old tomato plant in here that got too tall, so I took it and pulled it outside after I hardened it off um, on my deck. But you can see how efficient these are. Each one's point, I want to say, 7 to 8 watts. You can run them lower if you wanted to, uh, at each one being 7 watts, I want to say. But I use the all on feature, which allows for all the LEDs to be on. But this is my indoor seed starting bank that's in a window that gets about not even 50 percent of the sunlight for the day direct sunlight at least so it's really it helps to en enhance my growing uh, vegetables and everything indoor and starting them before the last frost and I spent about 30 about 30 dollars on these three lights um, of course I got some of them on sale they're normally about $35 a piece at regular price, regular retail from Kohl's. But they work great, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Stay safe, YouTube.